everybody welcome back alex here so docker is moving in the direction of full apple silicon support and this caught me by surprise why hoon lim mentioned this to me on twitter he reached out and said that docker desktop is now supported on apple silicon and i thought wait a minute isn't docker didn't they already have apple silicon support for a while now and then it hit me well of course they had apple silicon support for the main docker engine since uh, i believe april here is a post on their blog it says released docker desktop for mac apple silicon not 100 percent true as it turns out on april 15th because what happened was they've released the engine on apple silicon so everything that needs to work on Apple Silicon works. And we saw improvements in their performance. I did the test on this channel, you can check that out. I did tests on M1 versus Intel, and now the M1 Pro, M1 Max. But that's not what came out last week, December 2nd, I believe, of 2021. Now Docker Desktop itself, that's the UI that wraps Docker Engine, that has just been released for Apple Silicon. Now, I have Docker installed here. There it is. And if I tap on this, you'll see that Docker starts up and we'll take a look at activity monitor for what's happening there. And this is Docker desktop, this app right here. So if we take a look at Docker desktop, it's actually running Intel, even though I installed version 4.1.1 after the April release. This was just recently. I guess I installed this in November when I first got my M1 Max machine. This is the MacBook Pro M1 Max that I'm running this on. So even until November, Docker Desktop was Intel. So it's not running Apple Silicon process. Now you can see that a bunch of other stuff here, like Docker Desktop Helper and another helper and another helper. These are all Intel processes. If I sort this by name and we take a look at the Docker processes, here's Docker itself, the engine, and that one is running Apple. Apple. So there's a little bit of a mismatch and Docker is moving in the direction of full support, but they're not quite there yet. They're not 100% there just yet. The most important thing was the engine. They got that out of the way. They got the performance boosts and improvements. Now they got Docker desktop and there's still a couple more things they need to do. So why does it matter that Docker desktop is running under Apple Silicon or under Intel? Well, now that it's under Apple Silicon, it enables you to develop applications with your choice of local development environments. And it extends development pipelines for ARM-based applications. There's also support for multi-platform images, which you couldn't get before, apparently. So now you can run both x86 and ARM architectures without having to set up these cross compilation development environments these crazy things that we had to do before and now you can use docker build x for those of you that use that but don't yet remove rosetta if you're using docker you still need it not to mention all the other things that are not yet fully supported on apple silicon but that's for another story you still need rosetta 2 for docker because there's a few optional command line tools that require it for example the old version of docker compose now they recommend you use docker space compose the docker cli and then the compose command instead of the docker dash compose tool you can use the docker cli even now but the old docker compose command you weren't able to use without rosetta the docker scan command still needs it because sneak S-N-Y-K, that library that checks for security flaws. I didn't know that they weren't supporting Apple Silicon yet but I might have to check that out. Do you use Sneak, by the way? I've used Sneak before, it's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you use that. Basically, it's a binary that you run, like a CLI that evaluates your code and tells you if you have any security vulnerabilities automatically. Very cool. So that still requires Rosetta and the Docker credentials helper also requires Rosetta. And of course, you probably know this by now that not all images are available with ARM yet. Like for example, if you wanna run MySQL, still not available under ARM and probably won't be for a while. You can use MariaDB image for that instead if you wanna replace MySQL. That one has ARM support and if you do want to use MySQL, you can run it with Docker, but you just got to specify the platform to have Intel emulation while you're running it. It's best not to though, because it's pretty unstable right now. So it's probably better to find native ARM supported images that you can run instead of doing the emulation, which could sometimes crash the uh, underlying processes. So here I started up Docker and uh, it's actually telling me that I should update. Here's a software update. A new version is ready to download. The version that I'm talking about, the new one is 4.3. I have 4.11 installed. I'm going to go ahead and download the update and we'll see if how many of these running uh, processes and activity monitor are going to be running under Apple now. And I don't know how long this is going to take. So I'm going to pause the video. Oh, it's done. Update and restart. Let's do it. Okay. So Docker continues to run. That's cool. While 
Docker desktop restarts. And there's Docker desktop. Look at that. Okay, what happened here? Let's take a look at about, why do I have two of them? Hmm, okay. No, activity monitor says Docker desktop is running under Apple now and the helpers are also under Apple. So yeah, so it looks like all the required tools that are running while Docker desktop is running are under Apple now. Now Dropbox needs to catch up. What's up Dropbox? <laughs> I want to have a clean Apple column here. All right, it's taking a while to start, but I'm guessing that everything is okay. Maybe I shouldn't guess too soon. All right, I'm going to assume that this is going to work once it gets going. Hopefully that was helpful to you folks. If it was, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.